What is up YouTube? This is Rob from RP Model Railroads and in this video I'm going to be doing a review on this rather interesting custom Tyco RF-16A shark nose diesel locomotive. Now I picked this thing up off eBay about a month or so ago and I wasn't exactly sure whether I was going to make a video on it or finish off the custom job in a way that I wanted it to and then make a video of it just running around a layout but I ultimately decided to do the former, make a review video to highlight this rather interesting custom job that in my opinion, somebody was trying to imitate the rare Tyco Northern Pacific shark nose scheme. Now, before we jump into more of an in-depth review on this paint job and taking a better look at the locomotive, I did want to mention that thanks to a friend of mine, I was able to discover that this locomotive was originally sold in a large lot of HO scale engines on eBay. And that lot went off, and obviously whoever was the winner of that lot ended up selling some of the locomotives they didn't want in separate listings. And that's how I ended up discovering this thing, and then it ended up in my hands. So, kind of some interesting history there. It obviously didn't come from the original owner, and I have no idea how old this custom job is. Judging by the fading or discoloration in the white line here, or white stripe, whatever you want to call that, along the side, it probably isn't a very recent custom job, but again, I'm not going to put any dates on this. I'll let you guys decide on that. But anyway, let's jump into the review. All right, now let's take a closer look at the custom paint job on this Tyco Shark Nose. Now, I already know for a fact that it is a custom paint job. It's certainly not a pre-production or factory paint job. And if you're a Tyco buff, you'll be able to spot some major details on the shell that clearly indicate that it is custom. I've also been able to determine what the original paint scheme of this shark nose was before it was repainted into this unique green, white, and silver paint scheme. I'll explain both of those things later on in the video. But for now, let's take a closer look at the actual paint job. Now, the reason why I bought this custom Tyco shark nose is because it definitely looks like to me someone was trying to imitate the rare Northern Pacific shark nose scheme. Although, there are some things that they did get way off about the paint job. So, of course, we have a darker green color on the roof of the locomotive that covers about halfway down. Then we have a white stripe here that runs up the side of the locomotive and angles up towards the front a nose of the locomotive. And then we have a metallic silver color that runs through the other half of the locomotive down to the step ladders and bottom half of the locomotive shell. Now, from what I've been able to determine, this thing was most likely spray painted or airbrushed. Uh, as you can clearly see, there's overspray on the... Uh, on both trucks and also on the fuel tank weight, especially on the fuel tank weight. So clearly, whoever did this custom job, they did not remove the trucks or the fuel tank weight before they spray painted the shell. You can also see overspray on the snap-in plastic pieces that hold the trucks in place inside the shell. Also, we have some uh, paint residue on both couplers. We have green and silver back here, and we have an entirely silver horn up front. And while we're looking at the paint job here, you can see that there are some clear tape lines towards the front of the locomotive. So I'm not exactly sure whether the white and green were spray painted. To me, it seems the green was definitely spray painted considering how smooth the paint job is. And as far as the white, that may be brush painted, but again, I'm not 100% sure. I do know for a fact that the silver is definitely uh, spray painted on. But as far as the green and the white, that can be determined by you, the viewer. And yes, that was one of the truck covers popping off the rear because um, it was not glued in place very well by whoever maintenance this locomotive before. All right, so when we take a look at the nose of the locomotive here, we can see that the headlights been painted over. They did not necessarily take off the white and the green that ended up getting painted over the headlight lens there. You can also take a good look at the white stripe. It is kind of uneven there towards the front of the locomotive shell. It's not perfect, uh, indicating that it is a custom job. And like I said before, the coupler is spray painted silver. So that's kind of interesting. And you can also see right here what appears to be black paint. I'm pretty sure that this is factory black Tyco paint, or it may just be a very close color match to the factory black Tyco paint, because I'll explain later on in the video why there's some factory black that's still sticking out in some parts of the locomotive shell. In particular, on the rear end of the locomotive. Besides the overspray that you can see on the coupler, the coupler box, and around the edges of the rear end here. This seems to be factory unpainted Tyco black plastic. It doesn't seem to be black paint that was put on later on by whoever custom painted this locomotive shell. Now, another thing that's interesting about it is the horn. So of course, number one, the horn is broken. It's missing the uh, rear part of the horn here. But 
If you take a close look, you can see that this horn was once silver and not black. I'm not exactly sure why whoever painted this custom Tycho shark nose didn't just use a black Tycho shark horn, but it seems to me that they just painted right over the silver horn and turned it black. You can see it's not black paint because you can see that the black paint is actually on top of the silver. And if I get the screwdriver, you can see here that the uh, black paint is actually chipping right off the horn. So this that was once a silver horn that whoever custom painted this shell painted black. Now we're going to compare and contrast this unique custom Tyco shark nose with the authentic rare Tyco Northern Pacific shark nose. So here's my Northern Pacific shark nose. And putting them side by side, you can clearly see why I get the impression that someone was trying to imitate the Northern Pacific shark nose scheme, which is understandable because the scheme is, number one, awesome in my opinion. It's one of Tyco's best schemes ever. And also, number two, it's quite rare. This locomotive is very difficult to find. So it's quite probable that somebody would try to make a custom model that resembles the Northern Pacific shark nose. And in this case, it certainly resembles it, although there are quite a bit, quite a bit of differences. Now, as far as similarities go, we do have a tri-color paint job. So we have a metallic color on the bottom half of the locomotive, a white stripe in the middle, and then a darker green color on top of the locomotive shell. And that's basically where the similarities end, beside the power torque drive system. That's basically where the similarities end, because, first of all, the metallic color on the bottom half of the Northern Pacific shark nose is a metallic green whereas the metallic color on the bottom of the custom shark nose is a metallic silver, which is an interesting choice there, that they chose metallic silver instead of a metallic green. Uh, number two, if you really want to nitpick, the white stripe is way thinner on the Northern Pacific shark nose than it is on this custom paint job. You can see it's uh, at least two or three lines thicker that runs down the side of the locomotive. Although, like I did mention earlier about the paint job, Whoever did this did pay close attention to detail with making sure that they got the white stripe inside both doors, uh, on this side both doors, and on the uh, cab door on the opposite side as well. Just like the Northern Pacific Shark Nose white stripe runs down the side of the shell and through both doors. But as far as the slope of the angle of the white stripe towards the cab of the locomotive, it's completely different. Whereas on the custom job, it's more of a straight line on the Tyco, Northern Pacific shark nose, it angles up at a pretty good angle, so there's quite a bit of difference there with how the uh, scheme turned out. And of course, another major difference I forgot to mention, there's no lettering on this custom shark nose. Of course, there's factory lettering on the authentic Northern Pacific shark nose and a decal with the Northern Pacific Railway logo. So that leads me to believe that this was most likely an unfinished model because they did not put any sort of railroad logos or anything like that on it. Although it might not necessarily be unfinished. Perhaps somebody just wanted to have a scheme that was similar to the Northern Pacific Shark. Either way, it does look pretty cool, I have to say. Even though there are quite a bit of differences, there are some similarities that make the custom shark nose pretty good looking. And now I want to talk about the original paint scheme of this Tyco shark nose and why I know for a fact that it is the original scheme. So you may recall from earlier in the video that I mentioned how the rear of this locomotive appears to be just black plastic. It doesn't seem to be painted black. You can also see the overspray of green and silver on the rear of the locomotive. This reminds me of two specific Tyco shark nose schemes that have a rear and other components that are black plastic should also be mentioned that on the nose of the locomotive, right where the front coupler is attached to the underside of the shell, there's another instance of the very same black. Now this could very well be painted. It's kind of difficult to tell, so I'm not exactly sure, but the color match seems identical to the rear of the locomotive. However, there's an even more sure way to know what the original scheme was. When you take a very close look at this locomotive in the light, you can see lettering underneath the silver paint that you can very faintly make out to be Burlington Northern. Well, you can see the Northern part better than the Burlington. And if we look over here, we can see a diagonal stripe right there on the silver, underneath the silver part of the paint, leading right over to the steps. This would mean for sure that this custom shark nose was once a Tyco Burlington Northern shark nose which I know for a fact based on, I can clearly see the lettering Burlington Northern between the two panels, as you can see on the real Burlington Northern shark nose, and the fact that the white stripe runs down the side of the locomotive from the rear all the way up and takes a diagonal straight down to the bottom of the locomotive shell right before the step ladders and the rails. 
which means that obviously somebody repainted a popular Tyco Burlington Northern Shark Nose, because it's a pretty common library, and repainted it into this unique green, white, and silver Northern Pacific imitator scheme. Very interesting history indeed. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this video review of this unique custom Tyco Shark Nose diesel locomotive. Since it is an imitation of the Northern Pacific Shark Nose scheme and appears unfinished, I'm not exactly sure what I intend to do with the model. I may very well give it a coat of green metallic paint to better match the Northern Pacific scheme and decals as well to complete the model, as well as uh, removing couplers and adding a new horn. But I'm not exactly sure as of yet. It does run very well, even though it does have an early power torque drive. Nonetheless, it is a very unique custom Tyco locomotive to add to my retro Tyco collection. Please feel free to leave any comments and thoughts down below regarding this locomotive in the video. Thank you all for watching.